myself that whatever you got, that's what you got. It's not my business. So if me and you doing business, right, and you making a hundred thousand, and I'm making twenty thousand, I ain't worried about you making a hundred thousand. I'm only worried about the twenty thousand and I'm making. Mm. Now, if you're trying to interfere with my twenty thousand, then we got an issue. So nowadays, people want to worry about what you making, and be like they want what you got. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, that's absolutely. what it really be about. Other, oh, uh, they want your position. You know what I mean? And people be mad because they be wishing I fall. And God just make away from me every time. Right now, so many people are mad at me because they just like, how he keep getting lucky? How he keep? Mm-hmm. Because my heart been pure from the start. I went wrong with nobody. Despite how nobody feel to me, I never wrong nobody. Nobody. Because I think like this. Even if it's somebody I don't know. I don't do stuff for, for the, the media. Sometimes I be like, I'm going to show them because, you know, certain stuff. Yeah. But who cares about the positivity? The negative way it goes. Yeah. Yo, 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 what's poppin' YouTube? We back again with another video, man. Y'all know this your boy Cam the Trucker, man. If you're trying to reach me, man, hit me up on Instagram at Cam Got It. C-A-M-G-O-T-T-I. So y'all see, we back again, bro. We back out here on the ground with it. Um, I just wanna show y'all the, I guess the ugly side of flatbed. Like the dirty side, the sweaty side, the getting up on trailers, the walking um, 10,000 feet, burning 250 calories every day type shit. This the side of flatbed I really want people to understand and, and see. Uh, right now I got some uh, beans. I'm gonna uh, run that junk down to Birmingham. It delivered Thursday though, man. I kinda got put in a, a blender. I really should've took the other load, but hey, it is what it is, man. This load, today is Tuesday. I'm delivering this though, this load Thursday, man. They got me, man. They got me. I ain't gonna lie to you, man. The best of them get got sometimes. It's okay. So they offered me a load picking up 93 miles away in Ohio going down to uh, Marion, Arkansas. I should have took that one. That load delivered tomorrow for 1600 So you know me, I'm standing on straight business out here, though. You feel what I'm saying? So I stood on straight business and I stayed up here in Indiana because this word afraid it. You feel what I'm saying? They called me with that load about seven o'clock in the morning. I don't too much take the first thing I see, but in that case, I should have took the first thing that I had, you know, got, but it is what it is though. So I said, fuck that load going to Marion, Arkansas for the 1600 on like 600 miles or something like that shit. I said, fuck it. All right, they offered me a load going to Atlanta uh, from Indiana, which that was tarped. I think that load paid maybe 1800 or something like that. It was like 500 some miles too. And they offered me a load going to Virginia, which that load had paid like $2,000. I ain't want to fuck with the Virginia shit because that shit be dry. That shit be ass. You can't put an extra two, $300 on there and think that, you know, I'm finna jump on it. So, nah, we ain't finna do that. So, they came with this load out here going to Birmingham. I'm like, oh, he's going to Birmingham. Cool. He was like, but it dropped Thursday. I'm like, fuck it. It is what it is, man. Shit, I, I took the gamble by denying the first load, which I should have took that load for the 16. So, I got this load 500 miles uh, for 1800 but I got a seat on it. You feel what I'm saying? Until Thursday, which I ain't even tripping. My goal is to not to do no hard work at all, y'all. I'm telling y'all. I'm gonna get this little $1,800 load, and then I'm probably gonna get like a, maybe a three, four, three or four thousand dollar load after that shit. You know what I'm saying? Going that well, so maybe more than that. Hopefully I can get a load going out there to Colorado for the 5300 but we shall see. It is what it is. Like I say, I ain't tripping about nothing. You know what I'm saying? So, Hopefully I get that Colorado load. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. Get that joint, it's a wrap. But yeah, I'm trying to do like two loads a day, man. Um, so it is what it is. 1800, it ain't too bad, man. I'm just gonna rest up, um, work out, do my thing, man. And then we're gonna deliver this load Thursday, man. I've been seeing a lot of shit, man. Don't you tell me that somebody over here at Blur then deadheaded from South Dakota all the way to Memphis. Ain't no goddamn way, boy. Ain't no goddamn way you deadhead from South Dakota to Memphis, man. What in the fuck are you thinking, homie? Man, it got to be more careful. Ain't that much good freight in Memphis for me to be dead here in the South Dakota, man. I'm going to tell you what counter truck would have did. All right, if I would have went to South Dakota, bro, what I would have did was I would have took my ass down out of Phillipsburg, Kansas, and got some damn shingles. All right, when I pick them damn shingles up, I'm going to go ahead and run that junk hard and deliver that motherfucker, and that junk going to get you in a decent little area. But you talking about dead here from South Dakota to Memphis? 
Yeah, man. Hey, I don't know what to say, man. I'm just gonna start. I'm, I'm probably gonna start doing some dispatching courses. Um, maybe charge five thousand dollars for y'all to get some dispatching courses. Cause that shit, I see why you niggas quitting over here, man. Ain't no way you dead here from South Dakota to Memphis. That's like a thousand some miles, man. Got to be more careful, man. For real. But yeah, man. So if you if you ever in that situation where you in South Dakota, I know you got a bag going up. But when you got to come back down, bro, just dead head over there to Phillipsburg, Kansas, bro. Tell your dispatch. Let you get some singles up out there, motherfucker, man. But, uh, yeah, man, we, we finna get ready to roll out, bro. I just wanted to drop a little video for y'all, let y'all know what I got going on, bro. 1800, we headed down here to Birmingham. Man, if y'all see me on that highway, man, throw the deuces up at your boy. You know what I'm saying? If I see y'all, man, if I got a little time, I'll chop it up with you, man. But, yeah, this is what we doing, man. We, we getting it on, man. I love y'all. Y'all my people, man. Like I said, we, we over here on the ground with it. Getting these beans, we finna go ahead and run it on down there, man. So, it is what it is, man. Another day, another dollar. What they gonna say now, that's all I'ma say. All right, man, peace out. Be blessed, guys. Yo, so, man, I'm out here in uh, Jasper, Alabama. Give me y'all a little update. So, I got this load paying $3,000 going up to um, White Bear Lake, Minnesota. So we finna run that joint up there. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. Like I said in my last video, I really should never took that $1,800 load. I think I, I sit on that bitch too long, to be honest with you. I shouldn't have took it, but it is what it is, bro. So this is what I want people to understand um, when coming over here at Blur, bro. Them DMs and shit, they ain't no dispatchers or none of that. Don't even, just everybody stop saying that shit. They DMs, bro. They driver managers. So... When they offer you a load, don't think that that's the best load for you. You feel what I'm saying? You got to pick the best load for your damn self. You feel me? Just like that load I just took, that wasn't the best load for me. Uh, You feel me? Or, or the, the load before that was the best load for me, but I ain't even take it though. Like I say, that shit was on me 100%. You know what I'm saying? I really should have took my ass home, honestly. Because uh, my dispatcher called me and shit. Well, I, I don't know. I'm just going to, I don't know why I keep saying dispatcher, but it is what it is. Where my DM, he called me and shit. And uh, he told me he was going to be out for the week and shit. I should have just took my ass home, to be honest with you. You feel me? But it is what it is. So this week, it's going to look like about $2,500. Because I only pulled the $1,800 load. And then I got this $3,000 load. So that's like $4,800 gross. Or uh, we going to make like $2,500 off that shit. You feel me? Which, that ain't bad, but it ain't to my liking, to be honest with you. I think I could have went home. And still made that. You dig what I'm saying? So, we gonna run this bitch up here to Minnesota. Like I say, I ain't gonna bitch. I ain't gonna cry. I ain't gonna complain about it. Because like I say, I picked the load. You feel what I'm saying? I picked it. You know, so it is what it is, though. Like I say, I should have took my ass home. And everything would have been cool, you know. So, we out here in Jasper, Alabama. I'm finna head up here to Minnesota. I just want to give y'all a little update on what's really going on, though. Like I say, man. Don't be just picking anything them folks get in your ass. Make sure that shit makes sense. Prime example, y'all. See, I want y'all to learn from my mistakes. You feel what I'm saying? Because it ain't hurting me as hard as it would hurt somebody with a weekly truck notice shit. You feel me? With a weekly, um, with a lot of deductions coming out. It ain't hurting me as hard. 2500 it's still straight for me. I ain't gonna even lie to you. But it ain't to my liking, but it's still straight. You know, so... I don't want y'all to make the same mistakes that I make, but these folks be giving out loads, bro. They just giving them out. You feel me? Whatever come across they disc, they just gonna give it to you. So it's on you to take the best load possible. So you might have to deny some loads. I mean, it is what it is, bro. I mean, they might not like it, but this your business. You gotta run your business the way you need to run your business. So um, that, that's what we got going on, man. I'm gonna let y'all know what's going on Monday when I come from Minnesota. I don't even know really how I'm finna really play this shit out. I might just dig down to probably somewhere in Illinois. That shit about three hours. I already ran the whole play down to myself. I think I'm gonna dig here down to Illinois. I would go down to Indiana, but that's too fucking far. So uh, I'm gonna let y'all know how that go, man. Like I say, we still out here for the six weeks. Uh, we still running. We still doing our thing. I think we got about two more weeks left. And um, I'm gonna take my ass home, though. You feel me? So... Y'all my people, man. I love y'all, man. Y'all, make sure y'all be safe out there, man. Um, be safe on the road, man. And uh, peace out. Be blessed.
Why you hating on me and I'm supposed to be a people? That should be illegal. I really try, try so hard not to dig so deep. But how I live, got a nigga digging deeper. And we ain't got to ride no way. We was to the first day, vibing off how the real nigga treat us. Still, you nigga, I ain't hold weight like the beaters. Crazy how you talk down, but really wanna be.